Yesterday, I had a couple of meetings with startup, and we actually tackled one case. So there was one company that had a brilliant idea of um, face recognition and speech recognition, but they came very much from a technological angle. They never thought about okay, what can they actually be used for? And so that's for me the first challenge: uh, how do you get to the customer benefit um, without only looking at uh, what is the beauty of the technology? And the second one is obviously the question: how do you deal with each other? Um, those entrepreneurs are hungry, they want to move fast, uh, they can't understand that there's decision processes and meetings you have to wait for. I mean, there's no, there's no option not to work together because uh, not working together would mean failure and, and, and not exploiting great uh, opportunities. The existing teams often don't like it because it means more work, it means thinking differently and so on. We believe that you need to start separately. So you uh, get the business to understand what the additional services could be that you would offer, but then develop them separately at the beginning, but at some point reintegrate or reunite them with the business. Um, when you look at uh, our world more on a macro level, uh, you certainly see a, a massive level of uncertainties. Um, uh, many things that used to be clear for 50 years are not clear anymore if you look at the trade tension currently. Um, if you look, uh, there's new risks coming, cyber, health, um, climate, um, in a way that they were never there. So there's a demand of managing and covering these risks. So you have far more uh, activity around prevention and making sure that you are served better to prevent the claim. But this gives a very new demand and that's why I believe um, there is a new golden age for insurance. So for me there's two goals. The first one is to really understand uh, innovation here and see are there uh, very clever startups that we could work together with. Yesterday uh, I spoke to one company that we invested in um, that is doing tracking of containers uh, you know, on, on global routes. And so um, one is obviously the purpose to understand where is, the, where is the container and so on. But then we quickly realized if you have enough data, you can actually uh, consult to uh, the company who ships and say, hey, listen, if you take this route from, I'm just saying something now, Lima to Bremerhaven in Germany, be careful, uh, there are very old cranes that drop the, co the, the containers all the time. There's a lot of theft in this, in this airport. So going out, speaking to people and thinking transversely and differently, number one. Number two for me is the, the cultural aspect. Um, you have a very different culture here to the European culture. A lot of energy, a lot of passion, a lot of drive to achieve something. And I really hope by bringing uh, our top uh, 40 people here, that they will be uh, inspired, that they will be energized and uh, leverage what they have seen here for their own troops. Mm -hmm.